Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Had to hit the high note on you nuggers. Had, had to hit the opera on you nuggers. Now, I may be slip, maybe slept under a rock, but um. You got players who sometimes feel when they leave that the grass is greener on the other side of the um, fence. Just to come to the realization, maybe last year wasn't so bad. Maybe if said player would have been more mature and would have been a man about the situation. Said player might have been a starter this year. Said player could have been starting anywhere else. He would not have had to come off the bench. But no. Said player. Is liking tweets about fans questioning his playing time. What, you thought you was finna get some shine? <laughs> you thought you was finna get some pub? Huh? You thought you was finna get out there and you thought that you was finna, um... be able to play for a contract a big contract next year risking it all when you could have had a big contract this year but no you wanted to follow the brownies basically torpedo torpedoing the team you was with last year and the reason I'm not saying your name is because you're not worth it I'm done with you you're soft you a punk, you're immature. And your career is going to go downhill after this. Because ain't no team going to give you a big contract like you want. And then you're going to realize, wait, LeBron, he's played me. Damn right, he played everybody. <laughs> it's all about him. He don't respect nobody but himself. You see what he did to Draymond, right? Draymond has gone downhill ever since he was on that episode drinking that goddamn wine. And I thought basketball players would get smarter. No. Basketball players get dumber. So said player ain't even worth me mentioning his name. Because he's a bum. You a bum for what you did. Snitching and doing all that. Running back to LBJ. Yo, they doing this LBJ. They doing this. That's the problem. This league is too buddy buddy. And LeBrownies get a pass and get away with doing whatever he wants. You got a team in the Suns that's finna throw the series. I ain't even watched the game to know it went on. The game was close early on. Then the refs start having to have, have a say in this. 
once the refs had a say in it, that's when the game blew over. That's when the game blew over. And it's not about how many free throws the team gets. It's when the fouls are called for them to get the free throws. What part of the game? How is the momentum going? Because people forget a foul call which lead to free throws, that messes momentum up for either team, for the other team. But said player was liking tweets all on Twitter about why he's not playing and all this. We know why you're not playing. LeBrownies brought you over there so that other team could not beat him. That's what he does. Look what he did to the Warriors. He split them up. <clears throat> he knew it once KD left. Good, I got him. Because he knew he couldn't beat them when KD was there. Because he couldn't guard KD. If LeBron actually guarded KD and locked him down, Cavs could have won. <laughs> but him locking somebody down, yeah, right. And we're going to see next round. We're going to see next round how the Bucks um, screw the Nets. Because the Miami Heat, they can't do nothing. They can't touch Giannis. They can't do anything. They can't even defend him. Or it's a foul. So I already know where this was going. Bam out of bio. He must be hurt. Because he's been playing like hot garbage. Out of him and Julius Randle, he's been playing the worst. <laughs> Julius Randle's been terrible, but this guy's been trash. Bam has been nowhere to be found. And I think he's hurt. I think he's just playing through the injury. Trying to um get through. But, man, he hurt. Bam is hurt. But that said player I was talking about, fuck him. I hope your career goes in the toilet after what you did to your teammates. I'm a loyal guy. That's why I don't respect Steven Jackson, especially in what he said to um, Kwame Brown. That was your teammate one. All them guys on my team, I may not have liked them in college, but I would never throw them under the dirt. I would never um, ridicule or criticize them like that. But said teammate, you deserve everything you get because you're stupid. You thought that you was going to go over there. The grass was greener. Now look at you. And y'all probably already know who I'm talking about, but I'm not mentioning his name because he's not worth my time or worth me mentioning his name. I don't, like I said, I don't care. Like, I do I do not like this guy. I believe he's a cancer to the teams. Um, I believe he does fit where he's at with the Lakers. Uh, well, actually, the LeBronies, because they're not the Lakers, they're the LeBronies. Because they soft. They always crying. And then Chris Paul, I don't care what anybody else said. You threw that game. I don't want to hear no allegedly crap. I watched the replay. Hey, nobody touched your ass. Talking about, I don't want to hear that. You, you threw that game. You and the Suns threw those games. Down the stretch, I think Booker was on it too, but I'm not sure, allegedly, but I think Booker was in on it too. Y'all president is LeBrownie's best friend, James Jones. 
former teammate, best friend, buddy, who retired and went right to the Phoenix Suns, only to let him get in. And y'all to be ashamed of yourself. If I'm Monty Williams, I bench Chris Paul for the rest of the series. I don't let him play. I'll let Book run the point, then I bring in Cameron Payne. Damn coward. That's why I feel with Jerry West, I'm the same. Too much fraternizing. Nobody. And the Miami Heat, they really need to look into an offer to get rid of Tyler Hero and trade Duncan Robinson. Get rid of those guys and bring you in some guys who can score. I would see if I could go get Kimball Walker or Kobe White in free agency because they would fit that team perfectly. Seriously. And all these reports, people talking about, oh, Golden State and Kawhi. Why would he come to Golden State? You guys treated Kevin Durant like crap. I hope you bums keep losing. I'm glad y'all didn't make the playoffs. Punk-ass Golden State. I'm glad y'all lost. That's for what y'all did to Kevin Durant made him feel like he wasn't crap. Y'all defending Draymond Green. Now all of a sudden, Warrior fans like, man, Draymond sucking. Shut your ass up. Y'all punk ass dudes and punk ass women weren't even saying nothing about no Draymond. Y'all was all behind him riding his stick like, man, KD just a cry baby. He got the mama's boy. Shut y'all B.I. itches ass up. You B.I. itches. That's what y'all are. I told y'all then and I told y'all now. Draymond Green was wrong and he should have been suspended 10 or 15 games. I would have suspended his ass, then I would have looked to trade him. I would have traded his ass. He destroyed the chemistry of the team. I'm sorry. I am old school. I am for the team. I'll find me another playmaker. We'll struggle at first without him, but you know what we would get? We would get peace in the locker room. LeBrownies infiltrated that locker room and tore that team apart. That big dummy right there ain't doing nothing. All he do is run his mouth with his sorry ass shoes. And that other player, that said player, who's not even worth mentioning because he's irrelevant, you're just another Draymond. Your minutes got cut. You out the rotation. Now they're looking to you to, to say that you're a problem. <laughs> yeah, welcome to LeBrownie's teams. We're nothing but drama. If you not AD or LeBrownie's, everybody else. You see what Dom Schroeder doing. Shooter like F y'all. <laughs> Shooter don't like none of them dudes. He ready to leave so fast. Man, come on, I need to get over. All right, there we go. Shooter ready to leave so fast. Shooter mad as hell. And it's funny too. You 
Cleveland Brownie fans are hilarious. This guy's corrupted the league. He's tampered with other teams' players. The dude's a fraud. But yet, said player, you should have known that. We've been told you. We've been making videos about him all the time. Now you're realizing it. Then you're going to send a shot at your old team because they down 0-2. It's like, why are you worried about them? Why are they on your mind? You're the one who left them. <laughs> you left them. And they gladly let you go. That just showed you they were tired of your mess. Because that's all you did was keep up mess. You and that strip club done it. Careers in the toilet now. We'll see where you go next year. You gonna get your little you gonna get your little punk ass ring this year. Which nobody really cares about. Nobody cares about the NBA no more. I ain't even I didn't even watch the Phoenix or the Brownies game. Because I already know who's going to win. Like the, the, the LeBronies are going to win two more and they're going to the next round. <laughs> Portland and the Nuggets, they're going to try to push that series far so the um, Lakers can get their rest. playoffs have been trash. The only series that's been good is the Atlanta and the um, New York Knicks and then the, um, the Jazz and the Grizzlies. That's been going off. Those are two. Donovan Mitchell seems to be in the best series damn near every year. I wonder why. But yet, y'all don't promote them. That's why I said the NBA stupid. It's just to help LeBrownies. And everybody talking about the Clippers were trying to dodge them. Clippers weren't trying to dodge no Lakers. Ty Lue dumbass took his players out to rest them. Ty Lue is, him and Eric Spolster are the same. Him and Eric Spolster are the same coach. The only difference is Eric Spostra is over there with Pat Riley behind him controlling and pulling the strings. Eric Spostra and him, they're the same. That effort lap, Eric Spostra did not go to his bench. He put in Bella Lisa when it was too Bia Lisa when it was too late. It's like dogs. Tyler Hero doesn't happen. Leave his ass at the end of the bench. He's too busy wanting to be an Instagram star. Let him be an Instagram star. I mean, it's like, I just don't get it. He should have been left Tyler Hero at the end of the bench. Kendrick Nunn has been very off. He, he I would have left him, Kendrick Nunn. Um, Robinson on the edge of the bench. I'd have, I'd have brought in Bila Lisa, Achua, and somebody else. You got to switch it up, man. You, 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 nothing's working. And then, bam, I don't know what's going on with bam. I just do not know what's going on with Bam. But Miami, yeah, they finna get swept. It's, they just gave up at the end. 
Jimmy Butler just was on the on the sideline looking defeated. Like he just can't believe it. Like they just got Molly walked like this. And then they're not even getting any calls. Every time they try to defend Giannis or defend somebody, it's a foul. So it's like, okay, the NBA's trying to push this Bucks thing. Alright. They want to push Giannis to the championship. Okay. We see what's going on. But Giannis really didn't do all that. The guys who was killing was the supporting cast. Drew Holiday, Middleton, Lopez, Connaughton off the bench. The DiVincenzo got hurt, had to leave the game. But Bobby Portis has been a monster. Him and P.J. Tucker have come off the bench and just, man, lit everybody up. That's what's going to hurt the Nets in the next round. They are deep, and they got some big guys who can bang down low, too. In this series against the Bucks, you're going to need Claxton. You're going to need um, Jordan. You're going to need everybody to battle. Because it's going to be tough. I'm done with the first round. I'm just going to watch Atlanta and New York. And I'm going to watch the Jazz and the Grizzlies. That's it. The rest of these series are trash, dog. Just trash. Trash water. And now these LeBrownie fans coming out to um, Woodworks. They just trolling now talk about he the GOAT. I'm like, yeah, he sure not. My cousin Travis, man, he he drank that Kool-Aid. He He's on the blue pill heavy. All my family on the blue pill. It's only a few of us who see through that bullshit. Only a few of us. Not that many. I just can't believe it. This guy actually complaining about playing time. And he and he knew he, and he knows what's going on. Stop it, man. <laughs> we gotta get rid of all this foolery and all this foolery, man. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you like what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDIITV. Um, Lefo, um, I don't have a PayPal. I think my um I think um I think somebody around me has it, so I I'll send you that information on um Instagram where you can send the money to. But um thank you all for listening. Um and shoot, we out. Deezy!